Well, NBC 10 is your local election headquarters. This weekend is election day and three candidates are running for Bastrop City Council. NBC 10's Valerie Moravi spoke to the candidates who are campaigning to serve the community and joins us now live in the studio. Hey, Valerie. That's right, guys. Well, Hercules Anthony, Charles Bradford, and Bozy Brown are the three candidates vying for the seat of Alderman for District B. District B covers part of the southeast and southwest side of Bastrop, and these three Democratic candidates are hoping to get your vote this March 25th election day. Uh, what I'd like to do is to work along uh, uh, with, with the mayor and uh, also the alderman. We are a team and we should be playing, we, we should be on the same team. Anthony is one of the three candidates seeking election for the seat. He has worked at Swanson Correctional Center for 28 years at the administration and mental health department. He wants to focus on increasing police department and cutting down the crime. Some of my constituents and then they, they were concerned about crime and the police department they were saying that uh, Bastrop need to uh, hire more officers. The other thing they were concerned about is the uh, Division Street Bridge over there. I've been out for two, three years. Charles Bradford is an involved citizen of the community. He says his goal is to tackle one of the main problems the city faces, violent crime. I believe that the solution to violent crime in Bastrop is to increase our police, our current police salary. You know, if trying to pay them less than $10, 10 an hour, that's, that's not going to work out. Bradford says another solution to decrease violent crime is to educate the community. Provide more recreation, implement more prevention programs for youth, and create jobs for our citizens. Now, we also reached out to candidate Bozy Brown, but our calls haven't been returned. Election date is March 25th. Reporting live in the studio on Valerie Moravi for your Oklahoma's News Source. All right, thank you so very much, Valerie. In Arkansas news, the governor signed a bill in